Well, hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the sport of orienteering. Orienteering is a sport that uses a map, compass, and hiking skills to go from one place to another as quickly as possible. Using that map and following direction and distance instructions, you're able to solve challenges. But you really do have to know what you're doing in order not to get lost. Now, we know that the directions north, south, east, and west are our ordinal directions. That means they're kind of the basic directions that help us know which way is which. There are some other directions as well that are exactly in between those directions. So between north and east is northeast. Between west and south is southwest. If you know that these are additional directions, that can help you in where you're going even more. No matter where I walk, the ordinal directions, that's north, south, east, and west, stay the same for me. My orientation to them, though, may be different. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say I start here, right in the middle of my compass, and I want to go east. If I walk east, I'm going to end up here, because east is that direction. Now, where is north? For me, is it here, or is north here? Remember, I started in the middle of my compass, but I've now moved to the east. That's right. This is north. The direction north never changes, even though I have moved. This direction would be my northwest now. My personal compass, the one that follows me around, has moved with me to this spot. So you can see my northwest follows that arrow, and my north is now straight up from where I am. So let's follow our friend as directions are given across the space that she's on. Call out the stripe that our little friend here should go to. Southeast. What color is southeast? Good job. It's green. How about west? Which color is west for our friend? She needs to go to blue. How about northeast? Which way is northeast? Good. That's red. If she wants to go southwest from here, which color is that? Excellent. Back to blue. What if she wants to go north from here? What direction? Good job. Up to yellow. And how about east? Excellent. Red is where she'll go. Now, we know our directions, and we know our ordinal directions and those in between. So if we can go from one place to another using the directions, it might help us to know where we are in terms of a map. So if I'm going to draw a map of our school, I'm going to take a bird's eye view. So I'm going to pretend that I'm flying above the school like a bird in the sky, and I'm looking down at it. I'm going to draw some shapes that represent the buildings for our school. So I notice that our school is kind of this shape, almost like an upside down F. Now, if I'm drawing that, I'm going to draw the rectangles for the buildings, and I'm going to draw them kind of the way that they normally are. 
their size in reference to each other. All right, then I'm going to draw the area for the playground and the track. After that, I'm going to draw a rectangle for our parking lot in front of the building. Now, I'm going to add a key. A key is a, a tool that we can put on a map that helps decode information in the map. It can be a key or a legend, sometimes it's called. So in this key, there is an E sitting on that building. Well, I know that that E is the K2 wing of our building. So I can put all these other letters on the map and label them in the key. That way I'm not writing all over my map. Then I'm going to put this little arrow down here that's in the key that says 100 feet. I can take my fingers now and I can pull my fingers that far apart the way that that arrow is and I can determine how many feet are on each of those or how many feet uh, represents one of the halls or the walls or the buildings. And then the final little piece that I have on the key is my directions, my compass. My compass there has north being up, south, down low, west, and east. So as I look at this as a bird's eye view, I'm not actually going up for north, I'm going straight ahead from B to A on the map, right? And if I'm looking at east and west, then I'm looking from, say, E to B. All right, well, that's great. Now it's your turn to draw a map. So I'd like you to take a look at the gym floor, include the floor lines and markings, and I'd like you to include a key that shows the distance from one place to another, and you can remember that the tiles on the floor are each one foot, a compass pointed correctly, and any symbols that you want to use on your map need to be in your key. Let's play this quick game together. You tell me where our friend should go. We have a course, and we're going to pretend that this map is a map of our gym floor, and we have a bunch of letters on it. I want you to look down, though, something very important. Down here, when my little black bar there leaves, is our compass rose, but you'll notice that north is not on the top of that star. North is on the left, which means north is over there. Think about that as we play our game. First, we're looking at that compass orientation, and we're starting on K because our example course up here says start at K. So I go to K. Now I need to go south two cones. What letter is south? Hmm. Look at that compass rose. And if I'm at K, which direction is south? That's right, to the right. And I'm going to go right two cones. That'll land me on the letter. M. The next instruction says go west three cones. Well, if I go west three cones, I want to go down three cones. So I'm going to head down three cones to KK. And I'm going to write that in. Now I'm going north two cones. North two cones would be what direction? That's right, left, because north is left on this map. So I go two cones left, and I end up at II. Now I want to go northeast two cones. Northeast two cones. Hmm. Take a look at your compass. Good, we want to go northeast two cones, which will land us on Q. Now I want to run south four cones. South again is to the right. So I'm going to go back four cones and end on U. For this course, the, the final answer is M, K, K, 
I, I, Q, and U. Thanks for listening. Let's have some fun.